Hello, my name is Aisha. Welcome. We will be doing a restorative and therapeutic yoga combination as well as some yoga nidra towards the end of our practice. So for this practice, you will need two blocks. Also, what's optional is using a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can always substitute for a belt or a towel or just your hands. We're just using it for a leg stretch, so it won't be uh, used for very long. You'll also need a pillow. So it can be just any pillow you have from around the house. I'm just using a couch pillow here and that pillow will be used um, as a support for the abdomen in one of our restorative postures. Towards the end of our practice, I will be guiding you through a yoga nidra practice, also called NSDR, which stands for non-sleep deep rest. This is a very methodical relaxation technique in which I name different parts of the body. And as I name these areas, you will be bringing your awareness to these areas and relaxing these areas. This will help to increase what's called proprioception, which basically just means body awareness. And when we have an increase of proprioception, this can decrease nociception. Nociception is like um, a signal in the nervous system that can turn into pain. Okay? It's almost like the precursor to pain. So basically in this practice, if you have any pain in the body, it will help to downregulate that uh, overactive sensory response and help your nervous system to really restore. We'll go ahead and get started in a restorative heart opener or restorative thoracic opener. So we'll be placing one block underneath the head and one block underneath the shoulder blades. If that feels too intense for you, you're welcome to substitute a block for a pillow instead. And that can be a little bit squishier, a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're very stiff through the ribs and upper spine. For the restorative heart opener, you'll place one block underneath the shoulder blade area and the second block underneath the head. Okay, so you have two options here. If your spine is a little bit more sensitive and not as mobile, you might wanna keep the block on the lowest height. If you're able to tolerate a bit more extension through that upper back area, place the block vertically so that it's supporting and running directly along the spine in between the shoulder blades. The second block will remain, as I initially mentioned, underneath the head, <coughs> supporting the base of the skull. We'll take a moment to settle in here in this heart opener, thoracic opener. <sighs> Bringing the arms by the sides. Keep the knees bent to support and protect the low back here. Turn the palms face up to the ceiling. Feel the heads of the shoulders rotate open to the ceiling. With the eyes closed here, relax the jaw. Soften the space between the eyebrows. Feel the weight of the head drop down into the block and start to send your breath into the upper back. Breathing into the back of the rib cage where you have a lot of awareness right now with the block supporting you. Every inhale, find expansion, filling up the lungs, feeling the rib cage expand. Every exhale, let it all go expelling all the air from the lungs. Deep inhale through the nose, filling up the lungs, feeling the rib cage flare out to either side, expanding into the back of the ribs as well. Exhale through the nose or mouth, let it all go. Continue breathing just like this if it feels right. Remember that this is your practice. So whether it's a breathing technique or a pose, you can always modify or opt out. Doing what's best for your body is really important in this practice. Honoring yourself, honoring what you need.
If you're following along with this deep, expansive breath, continue for just a few more rounds here, noticing any little shifts that are occurring in the body. Maybe the shoulders are dropping back more. Maybe you hear a little bit of gurgling in the tummy or you feel the need to yawn. And that's okay, that's all very normal when the body starts to relax. Good. Let's all take a breath in together collectively. Deep inhale, feel the belly fully swell. Ribs expand, find the very top of your inhale, the very top of your breath. Exhale out through the mouth. Sigh it out, let it all go. Good. When you're ready, you'll use one hand to support the back of the head. The other hand can remove the block that's underneath the head. And then gently, using your forearms for support, remove the block that's underneath the spine. You'll go ahead and return to lying down on the back, this time without the blocks, and hug the knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around the legs, rock a little bit from side to side. Place one hand on each kneecap here, bring the knees wide apart and back together again in a big circular motion, taking this nice and slow. Let it feel nourishing for the body, feeling that inner thigh stretch as you peel the knees apart, feeling the mobility through the hips as you draw them towards you and around again. When you're ready, we'll hug the right knee into the chest. With the left leg, keep the knee bent, plant the foot down onto the mat. Drawing that right knee in towards the same side shoulder, take a moment to breathe here into the lower part of the belly. Try to relax the pelvic floor here, the very base of the pelvis. Tuck the chin in slightly to the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. When you're ready, grab onto the sole of the foot with that same hand, the right one, and press it up to the ceiling for half happy baby. Leg is bent at a 90 degree angle, more or less. Flex the toes to the shin bone as you press up through the heel of the foot. Continue to take slow, deep breaths here, maybe even reclosing the eyes for a breath or two feeling into sensation. As you're ready, grab onto your strap, wrap the strap around the sole of the foot and press the foot up to the ceiling. If you don't have a strap, you're welcome to just clasp the hands behind the leg. Same idea here, pressing up through the heel of the foot, flex the toes down to the shin bone and see if you can really relax the system in this stretch. Instead of thinking about what you need to do or what's going to come after this, see if you can take this moment to be present. Presence doesn't always come easily. So if you're having trouble with it, name the sensations that you feel in the body, either out loud or in your head. For example, I feel a stretch through my calf muscles. I feel engagement through the front of my leg, my quads. I feel my belly moving with my breath. I feel my heartbeat. When you're ready, we'll remove the strap if you have it. Go ahead and rebend the knee. We'll cross over for figure four here, but this is where you can add blocks. Stacking one or two blocks, the more blocks you have stacked, the more intense the stretch will be. Resting the sole of the left foot down onto the block or blocks and crossing the right ankle on top of the thigh. When you make your way into this figure four here, you'll feel an opening through the hip. You might feel a stretch through the glutes or through the inner thigh or back of the leg. <clears throat> Press
pressing that right knee forward. Place the hands onto the abdomen, close the eyes. Taking some deep breaths here. Feeling the support of the ground underneath you. Let the shoulders relax down and back, especially if they're rounded forward. Make that conscious effort to bring the backs of the shoulders towards the floor. Taking a few more deep breaths here. When you're ready, you can gently uncross the leg. Use the support of the hands. Minimal effort, returning the foot to the ground, removing the blocks if you have them supporting you. Bring the arms out into a T position and start to rock the knees from side to side here. Really lazily, very passive. Try not to use too much muscular force for this movement. When you're ready, hug the left knee into the chest, adding the clasp of the arms with the hands around the shin bone. Hug the knee into the chest here or towards the same side shoulder and take some deep breaths into the lower part of the belly. You might feel a decompression of the pelvic floor as well, the very base of the pelvis. Grabbing onto the sole of the foot with the left hand, press the foot up to the ceiling for half happy baby. Flex the toes down to the shin bone as you press up through the heel of the foot. Bringing the top of the thigh towards the floor. Notice what you feel and where you feel it. Go ahead and grab a strap here. Wrap the strap around the sole of the foot as you press the foot up to the ceiling or use the support of your hands behind the thigh. <laughs> Flex the toes towards you, press up through the heel and then hold. If you're using a strap, move the hands to the very ends of the strap. <coughs> Excuse me so that the elbows and the back of the upper arms can rest on the floor. Try breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Remove the strap, cross this leg over for figure four here. Adding the same amount of blocks as you did on the first side if you used blocks. Keeping it even for the pelvis. Crossing the left ankle on top of the right thigh, pressing that knee forward and away from you. Rest the hands on the belly and reclose the eyes. Notice what you feel in your body and where you feel it. And notice where you're holding on to any unnecessary tension here. Where can you soften a little bit more? That could be the jaw. That could be the tongue. Drop the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Put the hands on the belly. Feeling the breath move into the palms of the hands as you expand right down into that lower part of the abdomen. 
And with your exhale, feel the belly fall. When you're ready, uncross that leg. Scoot the blocks over to the side for now. Hug both knees into the chest. Wrap the arms around. Rock a little bit from side to side, giving the low back a little massage. And make your way up to a tabletop position here. You can roll over onto one side first, or perhaps rock and roll from the back of your mat to the front of the mat. Once you're in tabletop with the hands on the mat, knees on the ground, we'll take a few rounds of cat and cow, and then we'll come into a restorative prone position using the pillow. Once you're here, drop the belly down with the inhale, take the chest forward, lift the sits bones up to the ceiling. With the exhale, round the spine, press the mat away with the hands, rounding the entire back, tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale, belly moves down towards the floor, chest moves forward, extending the entire back. Exhale, round and flex the spine, finding space between the back of the vertebrae. Inhale, drop the belly down, move the chest forward, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press the mat away, round the back. One more, no cues, at your own pace, you know what to do. When you're ready, we'll meet back in a neutral position. Go ahead and grab onto your pillow here. We'll place the pillow underneath the abdomen. So if you have a um, typical like bed pillow that's a little bit uh, longer than this one, you'll wanna make sure that it's right across the abdomen in the front of the hips. If it's a little bit kind of taller of a pillow, you wanna make sure that it's not compressing uh, any breast tissue. If you have breast tissue, it's not compressing any breast tissue in an uncomfortable way. So basically you wanna make sure you're nice and comfortable as you lie down here onto your abdomen with the pillow underneath the belly in front of the pelvis. From here, stack the hands, rest the forehead down. Take a moment to just be right here. Staying just as you are, feeling the weight of the forehead drop down into the hands. Allow your glutes to unclench. Legs completely relax. Feel your spine start to decompress. Slow down the breath and feel the belly move against the pillow as you inhale. And seemingly move away from the pillow as you exhale. Continue to breathe with that awareness of the abdomen moving into and away from the pillow using that as your point of focus. Slowly make your way up onto the forearms here. Engage the glutes. Press the palms of the hands down into the mat or the floor and make sure the wrists are directly in alignment with the elbows and the elbows are stacked underneath the shoulders. The only part that should be really actively engaged or at least with conscious effort is the glutes here in just a half contraction. It doesn't need to be the absolute fullest squeezing the glutes together as hard as you can. Just about a half contraction here of those glutes to protect the low back. Start to move the chest forward between the shoulders. Taking a little extension of the head and neck as well, lifting the chin up, 
opening up through the throat in those deep neck flexors in the front of the neck. Good, slowly return the head to neutral. Press up onto the hands one at a time, being really mindful, especially if you have a sensitive low back. And we'll make our way into child's pose here. So you can take your pillow and place it in between the backs of the legs, so the calf area and the hamstrings and glutes. Go ahead and press the heels, or sorry, the sits bones towards the heels with the pillow in between. We'll rest down here onto the forearms. We won't be active with the arms here in this child's pose, taking this as a more restorative posture. Rest the forehead down either onto the hands or bring the arms by the sides alongside either leg and rest the forehead onto the floor. See what feels more comfortable for you. You can try both. If both are uncomfortable and you feel like you need to be lifted a little bit, grab one of your blocks and place the block underneath the forehead. It can be on whatever height you'd like. In this pose with the eyes closed, allow yourself to relax the abdomen completely. So often we engage and clench and suck in the tummy. This is your moment to completely relax the belly. There's no need to hold it in. Start to send your breath into the low back area and back of the hips, back of the pelvis. Try breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. When you're ready, we'll begin to make our way out of child's pose, slowly rising up, remove the pillow out from underneath you and take a seated position here. So that can be cross-legged, that can be on your knees. You're welcome to use that pillow underneath the sits bones. This helps the spine to lift up a little bit taller if you notice that you tend to round on your own without one, <coughs> without a pillow supporting the sits bones. We'll take a moment here to relax the shoulders away from the ears and do a few neck stretches. When you're ready, I'll mirror you. Bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Resting here, soften the gaze, so allow the eyes to half close, gazing down at the ground. Keep the neck in this side bend or lateral flexion and at the same time start to lift the chin towards the upper left corner of the room. Lifting the chin up to the ceiling while keeping this little side bend. Feeling a pull through the right side of the neck, the front of the neck on the right side as well. You might feel a bit of referral into the temples or above the eyebrow. That's normal. We're stretching out a muscle called the SCM. Take your right hand here, if you'd like to deepen this, and bring it across to the left thigh. Continue to breathe here, relaxing the belly. Very slowly take that arm back across and bring the neck up to neutral. Rotate the head and neck from side to side. Notice any difference in your range of motion between the sides. 
You could also try side bending from one side to the other and notice if there's any difference. We'll go ahead and switch sides here, bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder. Feeling that pull along the side neck muscles. Keeping your gaze relaxed half or three quarters of the way shut. And start to lift the chin up to the upper right corner of the room. Feeling a pull along the front of the neck, maybe into the jaw, you might feel a referral into the forehead. Options to take it further by taking the left hand, crossing it over to the right thigh and taking that shoulder away from the ear. Feeling the pull deepen, continue to breathe here. You might feel an increase of saliva in the mouth that's normal. Very slowly bring everything back to neutral, taking your time. Then rotate the head and neck side to side as well as laterally flexing, side bending a few times, fleshing that out and noticing how the neck feels. We'll make our way into our yoga nidra, so our systematic relaxation. I will stay upright to guide you through it. You are going to find a comfortable position, whatever that means, lying down on your back, legs straight. If you tend to have a more sensitive lower back, slide pillows underneath the knees or slide something underneath the knees. It could even be two blocks. This will help to take the low back out of any sort of hyperextension, which could irritate your vertebrae and will help to neutralize it. Okay, so that could look like this. I'll demonstrate it as you're making your way there. Sliding blocks underneath the knees. The feet can be as wide as the mat if that feels comfortable for the legs and pelvis. You're welcome to have a pillow or a blanket underneath the head and neck. You're also welcome to have a blanket over top of you cozying up. If you have one close by, I definitely recommend that. It will help your nervous system to relax even more, having that gentle weight on top of you. And also when you start to relax, the body temperature drops. So this will help to keep you warm throughout our practice. Once you've made your way, into your comfy yoga nidra position, your little nest, close the eyes. Feel the weight of the head drop down into the floor. Unclench the jaw and drop the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Know that for the next 10 minutes or so, there's absolutely nothing you need to be doing but lying right here and honoring your body with this practice. Everything else, the to-do lists, the emails, the text messages, whatever it is that you have to do, that can be put on pause just for the next 10 minutes. Remember that Yoga Nidra is a systematic relaxation technique. So as I guide you through this practice, I will be listing out parts of the body. And as I name these parts of the body, you will bring your awareness to these areas and relax them. If 
feel all the points of contact that you have with the ground underneath you. Allow yourself to sink in a little bit more. Become aware of the back of the head, the back of the neck, the right shoulder, the right arm, elbow, wrist, palm of the right hand, soften the right thumb, tip of the thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and baby finger. Traveling back up to the right wrist, elbow, arm, and shoulder. Become aware of the collarbones, the chest, the left shoulder, arm, elbow, wrist, palm of the left hand, the thumb, tip of the thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, and wrist. Make your way back up to the wrist. elbow, arm, shoulder, and chest. Feel the sense of aliveness in both arms. So aware of every muscle, bone, and sensation in the arms, hands, and shoulders. Become aware of the abdomen, the pelvis. Soften the right thigh knee, lower leg, ankle, sole of the right foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Aware of the entire right leg. Feel the entire right leg. Bring your awareness to the pubic bone, the pelvic floor. Unclench and relax the glutes. Become aware of the left thigh knee, lower leg, ankle, sole of the left foot, big toe, 
second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and fifth toe. Aware of the entire left leg, aware of both legs together. Bring your awareness to the back of the pelvis, the low back, mid back, shoulder blades, upper back, and back of the neck. Aware of the entire back body aware of the entire spine. Bring your awareness to the crown of the head. Now bring your awareness to the soles of the feet. With the next inhale, breathe in through the soles of the feet, up the midline of the body to the crown of the head and out. With your exhale, imagine your breath going down the crown of the head, the exact midline of the body, out through the soles of the feet. Inhale through the soles of the feet, up to the crown of the head and out. Exhale down from the crown of the head all the way to the soles of the feet. Last breath, just like this, in through the feet, up to the crown of the head. Breathe out, down the crown of the head, to the soles of the feet. Return your breath to a natural rhythm. Feeling a newfound awareness of the entire body, of the entire being. Feeling light or heavy. Notice what's present for you. Now start to visualize yourself from a bird's eye view. Visualize yourself lying down on your mat in whatever room you're in, whatever space you're in. Visualize your face soft and relaxed. Visualize the entire body at ease. Feel the entire body at ease. As you're ready, invite some very gentle movements into the body, whatever feels more most natural to you right now. That could be reaching the arms. <coughs> when you feel ready, invite some very gentle movements into the body. Try not to think about it too much, whatever feels most natural to you right now. Take a moment to move around in that way that feels good, whether it's stretching the arms overhead or maybe scrunching up the muscles of the face and then relaxing them. 
perhaps rotating the head and neck side to side or eventually bending the knees and hugging them into the chest. Make your way up to a seated position in your own time. Know that there's absolutely no rush. When you land here in a seated position, allow the spine to grow tall. Notice how you're feeling. Notice how you're feeling. Bring the hands to a prayer position in front of the chest if that feels right to you, or you can stack the hands over top of the chest. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice of restorative and therapeutic yoga combined with some yoga nidra. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you sleep so well tonight if it's evening for you. And um, I really hope that you feel rested. Take care and I'll see you next time.